until you once got punched. Yeah, I count on one hand the amount of times I was assaulted. I was very fortunate to get out of there with very few assaults. Very few assaults. I never assaulted anybody. Um, and I maybe, yeah, one, one time I had my Walkman and uh, God bless Walkmans. You know, so that you can be in a place like that and just kind of travel for a while and be in your own space and listen to your own music and, and not Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey and whatever bad R&B is out lately, which is all they played on the radio. And just kind of like listen to whatever you feel will calm you down and keep you in a good space. But there was a guy, a Spanish kid, who uh, said he heard voices and he would only punch people who were wearing walkmans. Because we were vulnerable, we weren't expecting it, you know. And you always say after he did it, I heard voices. They told me to hit somebody, you know? which I was starting to think was a lot of bullshit. I, I don't, who's to say? But anyway, he got me. He got me and hurt. Ooh, what got me in the jaw? I thought it was broken and hurt so bad, but it was just like a hard punch in the jaw, you know. Um, yeah. But th those times stick out because they were so few and far. I mean, I can count, like I said, I mean, three or four times I ever got assaulted or punched or anything in, in, in 18 years or 20 years I spent. So they stick out. You can, you can kind of recount them. And it's kind of like a job hazard, you know, or uh, an occupational hazard, you know. If you're in a mental hospital, someone's going to hit you. You know, or if not, something's gonna break. A fight's gonna break out. And you know, get caught in the middle of it somehow or something. I've seen people get really hurt, so I'm, I kind I consider myself very fortunate that I wasn't really being hurt or assaulted really badly. I've seen people get really, really, really damaged. Um, And you get desensitized to it. You get inured. You get desensitized to the violence. You just kind of step around it. At least I did. You know. Oh, another fight breaking out over a cigarette? Let me step around this. Okay, and I'm safe. You know. Talk to me a little bit about how you navigate these kinds of uh, people who are in a meltdown or just challenge? Well, the thing, the thing, one of the main things I do is I'm always I'm hyper vigilant, which is, 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 is in some instances a symptom that that leads to paranoia or you know hyper vigilance. But I'm hyper vigilant now. I'm always all I've I've got I've got my finger in the pulse or whatever the fuck I'm around. You know I I can I'm always watching and, and surveying and in my environment nothing gets past me usually. Um, and similarly, I, when I watch a movie, I catch it all. I, t I like to watch a movie in silence so that I can hear all the dialogue, catch all the subtle in nuances, and know that I've seen the film. You know, similarly, when I listen to music, when I listen to music, I'll listen to it, I'll, I'll listen to it, I'll, I'll get it. And that's kind of how I take things in. I, I'm, I'm a vacuum cleaner and a speculative vacuum cleaner, too. Um, so when I was in that environment, I, I knew when something was going to jump off. Because I'm watching this guy over there, you know, just tell this guy he's not going to share his coffee with him. And I'm watching this guy get heated and kind of like agitated. And then I'm watching this guy kind of like pump up his chest like, well, if you're going to attack, then I'll fight back. And this guy's saying, well, if you're going to fight back, then I'm going to say, watch the whole thing in front of you. So what, I, I just say, okay, time to go. And I'll just like slip out, the, slip out and five minutes later, something's breaking off and I'm in my room, you know, or on the phone. Hypervigilant. Hypervigilant, yeah. I learned that from the social worker who I later had an affair with. Um, she wrote that in one of her charts. One of her chart notes, uh, in my chart, in one of my notes. I was like, hmm, what does that mean? She explained it to me. Oh, okay, I guess, all right. I'll take that. Hmm. 
And it's a deficit when ramped up. It, it, it's, it's, it's like the gateway to, sim, to, symptoma, to being symptomatic. But, um, that looks nice, by the way. I think I have to change the proportion. Maybe, maybe not. Or we'll just put the head higher and bigger. Make it big. Make it, make, it a big make it a big paw. Make it a big, gigantic paw. Bring it, like, up to, up like... Up to the front. Up to, up to where his nose is. Or between his nose and his mouth. A big paw. And then you can fit the Coliseum there. Yeah, I want him to hold the Coliseum. A big, a big, right. big, big paw. Because he's a lion, you know? Yeah. I realized the pole was small when I was walking away. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you were talking about hypervigilance. Yeah. Well, you were. I don't know where you're going with it. No, I think it's... Uh, because I've watched you really... You are very conscious of your the space around you. Yeah, I learned that. I learned that. It's learned behavior. You spend 20 years in a mental hospital where you don't know when the next guy's going to shank you. Well, first of all, you spend six months in Rikers Island where you don't know when the next guy's going to shank you and then fuck you in the ass. And then you spend 20 years in a mental hospital where you don't know when the next guy's going to punch you or God do God knows what. So you learn to watch where you are. You learn that. And that could be institutionalization. And maybe it'll take a couple of years for me to kind of wipe, wash that off me. And that'd be interesting to kind of walk through the streets and not look at everybody and not survey my entire surroundings. To, to walk into a Starbucks and not kind of say, okay, that guy's over there. That guy's going to the bathroom. That guy's over there. I, I, I feel like I'm a fucking hitman or something when I walk into places. Because I'm, I'm like always like, okay, that guy's, okay, all right, I'm, 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 all right, I'm safe, you yeah. know. But that's how I look at it. That's how I react. That's how I, that's how I function. Yeah. 